Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And in today's lecture, we will be discussing about the arrays in shell scripting. So I hope you're already familiar with the concept of arrays and what arrays really are. As you might have learned this concept in other programming languages such as C language, Python, Java and so on. As it is a very useful tool if you're dealing with large number of items, if it is integer or a string, whatever it is. So in this lecture, we will discuss how to use shell arrays in Unix. So a shell variable is capable enough to hold a single value. These variables are also called as a scalar variables. So what are variables and the different shell variables that we have discussed in the previous lecture. So I hope you already know that an array is data structure that contains group of elements. Typically these elements are all of the same data types such as it may be either integer or a string. So if you have many elements of same schema or same subject, then you don't need to create variables for each of those items. You can store those values into a single array and access them as per their indexes. So shell supports different type of variable called as an array variable. So this can hold multiple values at the same time. So arrays will provide you a method of grouping set of variables instead of creating new names for each of the variables. So if you want to store the different colors, so you don't need to create new variable for every single color. Instead, you can create one array named color and you can store all the colors that you want to store in it. So all the naming rules discussed for shell variables would be applicable while naming the arrays. So if you want to know more about this, just watch our previous lecture where we have discussed all about variables in shell. So this was all about some introductory part. So let me show you how we can define array values. But first, let me show you one difference between an array variable and a scalar variable. So suppose if you're trying to represent names of various fruits as a set of variables, so each of the individual variable should be a scalar variable. So this is our case one. So where we have creating the scalar variables for which we need to define separate variables for each of those values. But for second case, we are creating array by assigning some index to each item in this array variable. So as you can see, fruits is our array name and these are the values that I have assigned to each of these indexes. So 0, 1, 2, 3 are the indexes and these are all the values which are assigned to some specific index in an array. So we can use single array to store these all four values. So let me show you how we can create an array. So in this case, if you're dealing with three separate items and you want to store them as a variable, if you will create scalar variables, you need to create three separate variables having different names. So if let's consider our items are red, green and blue. If you want to store them by using scalar variables, then you need to give like color one equals to red, color two equals to green and color three blue. But you can do that by simply creating one array variable. So if you want to create it, you just have to create color equal to and in brackets you have to give all the values separated by spaces. So just give like red, green and blue and hit enter. As you can see, our array variable has been created, which has named color and it has three string values that we have just created. But now let me tell you how we can create an array inside our shell script. So for this, we will create one shell script by using the vi editor. So we just give vi and the file name, which is color.sh. So as you can see, we are in our vi editor now. So just go into the insert mode and just give shebang construct before you add any commands or line items in your script. So what is the significance of it? We have already discussed it. And after that, we will create our array. So just let me add the comment. So this is our first array. So we will add a comment like array one and we will start by creating the array. So to do that, so the syntax is pretty normal. Just we have to give the array name. 
so in this case we will give fruits and now we have to give the index for our first array element so we have to do that inside the square brackets so just give our first index which is 0 and use the assignment operator and in quotes you have to give the element so the first element is apples and on the next line similarly add our second element So as you can see here, we have added four elements into our array which is named fruits and here are the indexes of each element that we have just added. So this is how you can create one array. But if you want to print the array element, you can do that by using the echo command that we will discuss in the next topic. So our next topic is how to access the array values. So now we have just created one array on the command line itself and we have also created a single array inside our shell script. So now we will discuss about how we can access those array element that we have just created. If you want to access the values just you have to go to curly braces and inside them just denote the array name and in square bracket you have to give the specified index on which the element is stored. Let me show you how. So here as you can see we have created an array named color and we have stored three string items in it. So for accessing those items as per their indexes we can do that. So just type echo command to print the output and give the dollar symbol for calling out our array variable. After that we have to denote the array name and their index inside the curly braces. So just you have to note this point. After that just give the array name so in this case as you can see our array name is color so just give color and in square brackets you have to denote the specific index so if you want if you want to retrieve this green item we can do that so its index is 1 so just give 1 and if you hit enter as you can see the element has been printed so similarly you can do that for other indexes also so if you hit 2 as you can see we are getting the last item which is blue and if you give 0 it will print the first one which is red. So this is how you can simply access the values by using the echo command and calling out our array variable by using the dollar symbol. Let me show you how we can modify our shell script for printing those elements that we have just defined in it. To do that just again go to the vi editor so just give vi color dot sh as you can see this is our shell script that we have just defined so just go into the insert mode and after that we will use the echo command to print our result so before directly printing the result we will give some string like first element and after that we can access our array variable by giving the specified index so for that just give dollar symbol to call out our argument and we have to use the similar syntax that we have just discussed. So just give the curly braces. After that we can give our array name and their index which we want to fetch. So for first element the index is 0 so just type fruits and 0 and close the curly braces. And now we will print the third element. Third element similarly dollar symbol fruits and for third element the index will be second and now this script is ready to be executed so for saving our changes go into the command mode give colon wq and hit enter so as you can see we have successfully saved our changes that we have just made so but before executing it we have to make the script executable by using the ch mode command so just give ch mode and for adding the permission give plus and x which is executable permission and give the file name which is color.sh as you can see now we can execute our file by using dot slash and give the file name color.sh as you can see it is printing the first and third element from our array that we have created in our shell script so this is just a simple example and you can do many things by using these arrays and you can store 
many elements into a single array by using this technique and our last topic of today's lecture is for accessing all the elements in an array for accessing all the elements there are mainly two ways that we can use to access all the elements so to do that just instead of giving some indexes just use star or at the rate sign for accessing all the elements so here i have given the example so as you are already aware that we have created one array variable named fruits and we have stored four values in it but if we want to access all those values we can do that by using this syntax let me show you how so for this example just go into our vi editor vi color dot sh and now we will modify the script but instead of accessing first and third element we will access all the elements by using both those methods so to do that just you give we will give like first method and instead of giving zero we will give like star and similarly on the next line for second method we will delete this index and we can give like add the red sign so these are two methods by which we can access all these elements which we have assigned for each of those indexes in an array so for saving our changes just get out of insert mode go into the command mode and hit colon wq for saving our changes and we will execute our script so just give dot slash color dot sh as you can see here you can see by these two methods our output is similar it is printing all the elements from our array so i hope you got a clear idea what is a array and how we can use shell arrays in unix we have also seen how to define an array the difference between scalar variable and array variable also we have access the stored elements in an array and also we have seen two methods by which we can access all the elements which are stored into our array so i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media that i have linked in the description below thanks for watching